Welcome back to another video here at Ori's YouTube channel. My name is Roberto George and I hope you are doing great. Now today we've got here a solution which is right over here to a common issue or common limitation that we find on this kind of multimedia devices which are awesome by the way. This is the Realme 4K but I also have here the Google Chromecast with Google TV and one of the limitations that it has is that it only has one HDMI output. That is it. So I can connect this to a projector or to a TV and have a great image quality, but I will be limited to the sound that my TV or projector has. Now the audio extractor, which is right over here, and we are going to check out how it works, really, really simple, will unlock that limitation, allowing us to connect this kind of multimedia device or any other multimedia device that we want to a TV or projector, but also to a audio system, which can be the soundbar that I will be using as an example, but it can be an AVR or any other audio system. Now, that being said, let's go and take a closer look at it. So inside the package there is some paperwork, a quick user guide that we can use for reference, but it's easy as I'm going to share with you in just a few moments, the power adapter and also the Biki 927 audio extractor. Now at the front we will find the LEDs for everything that we will need to know, if it's on or off, if it has a signal in, if it has signal out, if it's connected to an app and if it's using eARC, which we can activate right over here. There's also EDID option right over here, and also a USB Type-C for a firmware upgrade if necessary. Build quality, great, all metallic enclosure. And at the back, as we can see, really simple to use. We just need to plug in the DC 5 volts. And then right over here, we will put in our source, which we would normally connect directly to our TV. And then it will come out to the TV and it will come out at the same time for our audio system. Okay, so now looking at a real example, I've got everything connected right over here. And we can see here the LEDs at the front showing that we have all the signals with exception of eARC because we are not using eARC. So we have an input, output, amp and also the uh, on LED. Now at the back we can see that we have the media source plugged in to the HDMI in and then we have the out going directly to the TV and then we also have the audio out which in this particular case is going to the HDMI in. We can see right over there we have a HDMI arc which we are not using at this moment and then we have a hdmi in just right over here so without the cable we can see it better we have the hdmi in right over here which is where we will connect the hdmi cable that comes out of the bk927 so the connectivity is as simple as this and now with a setup example for the audio extractor bk927 which is connected right over here and we are going to see the connectivity we have a display and a soundbar with hdmi input capability it will support up to 8k at 60 hertz or 4k 120 hertz it will also support variable refresh rate hdr10 HDR10 Plus, Dolby Vision, HLG Pass Through, and a lot more. So some specifications I will leave here on screen, but for all of the specifications, the link will be down below with the Ori BK927. Now in terms of connectivity, what we've got right over here is really straightforward, as we've seen previously. We've got the DC in, and then we have the media input source. This is the Google Chromecast TV with Google TV, which is displaying on this TV. But as we can see, it's not connected directly to the TV, which is not actually a TV. This is a display without any sound output at all. So if I only had the Chromecast Google TV and this monitor, we would have no audio whatsoever and no possibility of outputting audio. In this particular case, we have the audio extractor, which will do the magic of extracting audio to the soundbar. Now, one of these cables, which is this one here, is outputting to the TV and then this cable right over here will share the audio to the soundbar which is connected here at the back as we can see and basically this is it simple as this here at the front we can see the LEDs we have the on and off which shows that at this moment it's on we have the input LED which shows that we have a media source connected 
output which means that I do have a TV that I'm displaying the image and then the amp which is the signal that we are transferring audio to to this soundbar. Now eARC is turned off but we could also capture the audio from a TV that actually has ARC or eARC instead of using our multimedia device. So another example would be if my TV supported I could connect the Google TV Chromecast behind the TV on, on a HDMI input and then I could output a HDMI cable with eARC to the audio extractor and basically that is it. Now in terms of audio quality I didn't connect the other uh, tweeters and also the subwoofer but we can connect also USB listen devices to like this phone right over here which is someone that you already know and a setup that you already know and actually this HDMI switch right over here. It's really special because we can use besides HDMI, we can also use a USB type C to the switch. So if you haven't watched this video, watch because it's really, really cool. I will try to leave a link down below. But basically this is it. Now at this moment, So inside the package we will find we have everything that we required. We still have the great image quality, so we will pass through everything that the multimedia device has to offer without losing any resolution, without losing any image quality, and at the same time getting the pass through of the audio capabilities to the soundbar or to an AVR that it's compatible with HDMI in. So really simple to set up and really simple to use. And if this was a real setup, I would just hide it behind my TV and that would be it. Now this audio extractor serves a purpose which is to give us image on one display or one TV and the audio on a audio system through HDMI input. So it's compatible as we just have seen with AVR or this kind of sound bars. But if your audio system has different kinds of inputs like coaxial or even optical out, there are other audio extractors that we have seen here on the channel. So there will be some links down below that can help you out. And if you still have any issues or any questions, drop a comment down below. We will answer as fast as we can or even an email to the email that you'll see down below for technical support. That being said, hope that the video was helpful in some way and if it was, don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. If you still haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing it so because this kind of tip, even if it's not needed at this moment, it's always great to know the solutions that are available to us and probably in the near future, maybe weeks or months, there will be a friend or a family member that will ask, hey, I've got this kind of issue and you will know the solution. For today, the solution will be this audio extractor. That being said, my name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.